Hey, how you doing? Nope, my name's not Red. <laughs> I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. I do have Craftsman's shiny red new M250 mower. This one has the Honda GCV 160 engine on it. The nice lady that owns this lets a guy in the neighborhood borrow it. Uh, he's kind of down on his luck, and he mows lawns to make a few extra bucks. Unfortunately, the guy never cleans it up. He mows wet grass like crazy. I've never seen so much wet grass stuck up under a mower before. Of course, she couldn't get it started because it was so caked up with grass. I cleaned all that up and the guy uh, told her because she couldn't get it started that she needed a new spark plug and then he added an extra quart of oil. Oh dear, this is never good. I'm going to get all this cleaned up, tuned up, and I'll show you how I do it. The amount of oil in here is crazy. I showed this to the lady when we had it. Ah, you see, it is all the way up there on the dipstick. It should be down here. More than double the amount that should be in there. There's so much oil in here, it's above the level of the governor, so that's where it's pouring out and all back over the deck again. So I've put a pan up under here. I'm going to try to catch some of this oil and not drop it. All right, you're going to check the oil here. And it's still a little bit high. As you can see, it's just above the full mark. I'm going to drain just a hair more. On Honda engines, you don't screw it in. You just put the dipstick in as far as the threads reach. So I'll drain just a little more out, and this should be good. The lady said he changed the oil, and he might have. Um, I don't see any flex. It's still an okay color. So I'm going to get the level right and just let this one go from here. Onto the air filter. Push those two tabs in. And I unfortunately think, because when I looked at this earlier, I think this air filter is just too clogged up. You can't even really see through it. If she would have been periodically tapping all the junk out of there, it probably would have lasted a lot longer. But it's just been taking a whole lot of abuse. Wipe out the inside here. Wipe out the air inside of the air box. Good. This is Honda part number 17211Z8B901. And filter goes in rubbery side first. Check these two little hinge tabs go on the bottom. Snap that in place. Turn the fuel tap on. And I think this mower is probably going to be good to go. Next, we're going to check the spark plug. Because I suspect it might be kind of plugged up because of the... Ugh! Come off of there. See if I can wrangle this guy off of here. There we go. That should not be that difficult to get off. Well, it is nice and clean in there. You can use either a 13 sixteenths. I prefer a 21 millimeter magnetic socket. Shouldn't be on there that tight. And surprisingly, it is not nearly as gagged up as I thought it would be. 
check the gap on this with a spark plug gapper should be 0 0.030 and it's just a little past that so merely a small block of wood tap that electrode down we'll double check and I went a little too far which is good just use the back side of that just to bend that tab up a little bit. There we go, right at 030. Start this by hand. And once that's fully seated, No more than one quarter of a turn. If I were going to replace this spark plug, I would be using a BPR5ES. All we're really trying to do when we tighten this down is compress that crush washer right there. That's why you go no more than a quarter of a turn. Any further, you can damage the threads in the head. This is the underside after I cleaned all that grass out as you can see there's a lot of rust happening already and the guy has been just mowing way too low on this thing blade is pretty beat up and then replace the spark plug boot and press down till you hear that positive click there we go little lube on the wheels just a couple of drops it'll work its way in there I'm gonna lubricate the operating cables, I use a product called TriFlow. Uh, the bicycle guys use it, so I trust them. Just a few spritzes in there. And it will work its way right up in the cable. I'm going to operate that a couple of times. Same thing on the top end. Just a couple of squirts. Operate the bale a couple of times and it will work its way down in the cable. All right, in the business, I think they call this the money shot. Fuel tap is on. Let's give her a whirl. First pull. Now, she did complain that the front wheel drive really wasn't very responsive. And it's a really easy fix. There's a little switch on here. It says tighten. And you push it in that direction. And what that actually does is increases the outer jacket length. Which at the same time shortens the inner cable. So there's more tension. And there is just a little bit. There's about, oh, about one quarter of the travel. till you can feel it actually engage in the cable. So that's pretty good. It was completely loose before. So I think this lady's going to be happy with this mower. Tune up, straightened out the oil situation, new air filter. It cuts really well. And I was able to adjust the cable for her so that the drive works for her. I did sharpen the blade. Camera didn't work out so well. But I do have another video and you can watch that right here. Mo happy.